Hey everybody, talking a little bit more about does this patient have warts, also known as Veruca pedis. Typically these are going to be really clear, but there are a few differentials which we'll go through in one of our other videos to make sure that you're getting the right diagnosis as often as possible. But typically what we're going to find is those skin striations like your fingerprint are going to be a little bit different around the lesion. It means that it's going to be a little bit white potentially. And if we start to brighten that area, we're going to see that there's pinpoint bleeding those vessels come through to the top. Typically when I first see a wart, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze it um, and really pull up those sides so that I can get a good squeeze and that's going to be much more painful than if you press down on it. And that's really the difference between a, a, a corn and a wart. A wart is going to be painful on squeezing. We may also find that they're presenting in a mosaic pattern or there might be multiple around that area, which is another telltale sign of it being a Veruca rather than something else, um, you know, completely. If you're otherwise confused, ultrasounds are pretty good at diagnosing because there's going to be a little bit of a vessel there, but most of the time, once you do a debridement, um, you'll be able to see that really clearly. Another thing that I do here is I put a little bit of um, you know, clinical hand gel onto the area, and again, that lets me see a little bit more about those striations. Hopefully this has given you a little bit more about um, warts or Veruca pedis and whether your patient might have those. Check out some of our other videos um, on what we're covering here. Hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next session. Cheers.